This is the hardest Minecraft prison ever made. It's made completely out of bedrock and almost impossible to escape. And it was made by my friend Korean, and he said that there was no chance we would make it to the end. So we spawned in on one block, and we were in the middle of a giant empty room. And if we fell off the block we were standing on, we would either fall into bedrock or we would fall into lava. So both ways we're not surviving. But at the bottom of the hole was the path to exit. So we had to somehow get down there without breaking my legs or burning to death. And the first thing I saw in front of me was a sign that said the number four. And above me was a bunch of these weird blocks. And when I right clicked them, I found out it was actually the bottom of furnaces. So the only things that we knew is that we were surrounded by furnaces and the number four. So I assumed that there was four different items in the furnaces and we had to check every one to find them. So I started clicking through the furnaces to look and see what was inside. But as I was looking, I saw another sign that, that said you're sure. And I am not sure. I am like above average. But after clicking around for a little bit, I found the first item and it was a stick. And just a stick was not going to help me get down there. So we had to find the other three items to make something. So I kept clicking around in the furnaces to see what else was inside. And the second thing I found was a piece of sand. Then after only five seconds, I found a piece of coal. But when I was looking for the last item, I could not find it. I went through literally every single furnace and I was beginning to think that Korean was trolling me. But on literally the last furnace in the room, I found the item and it was a feather. So now we had a stick, sand, coal, and a feather. And all of these items were useless. We were completely stuck. There was nothing underneath me and there was nothing else around us. The only thing I could think of is using my sand block to clutch halfway down the hole. But that wouldn't work because sand is a gravity block. And if we placed it, it would just fall down and we would not survive. We needed to find a block that wasn't a gravity block so we could clutch halfway. And that's when it hit me. If we're able to find a furnace, we can use our coal to smelt our sand into a piece of glass. And since glass isn't a gravity block, we would be able to place it and it wouldn't fall down. So I started to think where a furnace could be. And then I realized we were literally in a room filled with furnaces. So I placed my sand and my coal in the furnace and smelted it into a piece of glass. And before I jumped down halfway with the glass, I decided to break both signs just in case I would need them in the future. And they both fell all the way to the bottom. Then I jumped down and I placed the glass block halfway and then waited for my health to regenerate. Then I jumped the rest of the way down and I survived with one heart left. And I picked up the signs we mined from before. And then I went up the staircase and it led me to a room that just had a bunch of cauldrons on the floor. But if I jumped down to the room with the cauldrons, there would be no way for me to get back to this room. So before I made the jump, I decided to check in this room if there was anything I was missing. So I checked all the corners of the room for any fake blocks or hidden tunnels, but I found nothing. And I was about to go to the other side, but then I thought, why would there just be lava in the middle of the room? This lava had no reason to be here. If I fell from all the way up there, I would not survive if it was just bedrock. So there was probably something underneath this lava. So I started to right click around. And when I did, I found an item hopper with three sticks inside. And it was renamed to trust me, trust no one. But I had no idea what that was supposed to mean. So after looking around the room again, I found nothing. So I decided to just go to the room with the cauldrons. And this room was weird. There was buttons on three corners of the room. And on the last corner was a dropper. So I assumed we had to hit all of those three buttons to make an item fall out of that dropper. But I had no idea how I was supposed to get to those buttons because they were way too high for me to just jump and reach. But in between the buttons and the dropper, there was a hole that said the exit. So we somehow had to make our way up this middle path. And since the exit path was the same height as all the buttons, I assumed that we didn't have to get blocks to reach these buttons. Because if we had all those blocks, we would be able to just build up to the exit. So there had to be another way to click on those buttons. But the only other thing in this room was this crafting table and this hole that led to another room. And when I went in F5 mode to see what was inside, it was just a villager. And to get into that room, we needed two blocks to get up there. And I already saw the first block we could use. So I mined the crafting table and I placed it right underneath the hallway. But that was it. There was nothing else I could do. I was completely stuck. All I had in my inventory was four sticks, one feather, and two signs, which were completely useless in this situation. I went to the crafting table to see what recipes I could craft and there was literally nothing. We were completely stuck. And I started to feel like Korean actually beat us. I was embarrassed. Ashamed even. How can someone like Korean beat us? There had to be something we were missing. Maybe a glitch block or a secret tunnel. Anything. But I found nothing. I knew the answer had to be obvious, but I had no idea what it could be. And I started to think maybe it had something to do with these cauldrons. So I looked around in the cauldrons to see if there was any water inside any of them. But there was nothing. And then I thought maybe if I broke them, there was something underneath it. And when I broke it, all there was was bedrock underneath. So we were completely stuck. But as I was talking to myself, I noticed something weird. One of these cauldrons are not like the other. This one has like barely a difference, but, but there's a difference. This cauldron is like gray, but this one's like 
Great. And when I right clicked it, it turned out to be an item hopper. And inside was one piece of string, which was completely useless. But still, we were getting somewhere. But this made me paranoid. How many of these cauldrons were actually item hoppers? So I literally went from the left corner and just started to spam right click all along all the cauldrons just to make sure I didn't miss any. And at first, I could not find any hoppers. But after looking for a little while, I found the second one and inside was a second piece of string. So now we had two useless items. Yay. But I didn't stop there i kept clicking until i found the next hopper and inside was a piece of bedrock and the last item i found was a third piece of string so the items we got from that is one piece of bedrock and three string and one of those items were actually useful and that's this piece of bedrock and with this piece of bedrock we could actually get to that room with a villager so i placed the bedrock down and jumped into the other room and the only thing in this room was a villager and a sign that said get the wool but i had no idea what get the wool meant but before i traded with the villager i broke the sign just in case we would need it later and then i opened the villager's trade and he was trading three stick for a wool or three oak signs for a flint and we had both of these items but the thing was we had three sticks but it was named trust me trust no one and the sign that we just mined said for us to get the wool and i was so confused was i supposed to get the wool or was i supposed to get the flint both of these items seem completely useless and unhelpful to me but i knew only one of them was the right answer so i try to think what could i do with white wool the only thing that i could think i could do with white wool is just have a building block to reach the exit sign but flint was completely useless we didn't have any iron so we couldn't make a flint and steel and i was so confused i was letting pixels on my screen actually make me upset in real life and that's when i realized exactly what we had to do so i grabbed this flint and ran back to the main room and this is what i was thinking if we take this flint this stick and this feather it can make four arrows and if we take our three sticks and three string we can make a bow and with the bow and arrow we could shoot at each one of these buttons and if we shoot all the buttons i think it's going to activate the item dropper and drop something to help us get to the exit so i went to the crafting table and crafted our four arrows and then use our sticks and our string to craft a bow so now we had four arrows and only three buttons to hit so me messing this up is literally impossible like there is no way that i'm gonna miss any of these arrows so i pulled back my bow and aimed for the button and i shot it oh i, I missed my first bow shot so then i went literally underneath the button to shoot it and i hit it and then i did the exact same thing for every single button and we hit all of them and then an ender pearl came out of the item dropper and now all we had to do was throw this ender pearl perfectly in the hole but that was gonna be difficult this was no ordinary hole it was like angled. So I took a step forward and threw my ender pearl in the hole and I made it inside. And it led me into a bedrock tunnel and at the end of the tunnel was a pit of lava with just one bedrock block in the middle of it. So I jumped down to the bedrock block and when I looked up I saw the worst thing possible. It was Korean just standing there on a golden throne and right behind him was my freedom. And the only thing in between me and him was this giant lava lake. And I had no idea how to get to him so I called him for answers. How long have you been standing there? <laughs> Listen to me, buddy. I don't want to. I don't want to. Can you stop doing? I'm trying to talk. I don't want to hurt you, buddy. But if I have to, I will. So tell me, how do I get to you? Roof. <laughs> Why are you doing that? And when I looked up on the roof, I saw a bunch of netherite blocks, but I had no idea what these meant. But when I looked back down at the lava, I saw an invisible barrier block that was right underneath the netherite block. So that means these netherite blocks were actually a path to get to Korean. So using the netherite blocks above them, I hopped onto all the barrier blocks and made it all the way to Korean with ease. And so I took my last jump to freedom, but then... <laughs> Why would you do that? Korean killed us. But look what we got, guys. Last month, we had zero subscribers. And now we have this. We are literally building one of the fastest and strongest communities on YouTube. And right now, we're racing Korean to 500,000 subscribers. And he's always been in the lead. So if you enjoyed these videos, subscribe.